Repo, the genetic opera. This is a horror opera. It has nothing to do with Texas. Pretty much, if you saw the movie Repo Man, or was it Repo? It was Repo Man. If you saw the Jude Law movie, this is the one that came out before it, that's pretty much the same sort of thing. You have a company that's selling organs. If you can't pay, Repo Man shows up and he takes your organs back. Now throw in a bunch of people who, some who can sing. Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer sings very well. Spike, again very well. Visually, this is a gorgeous film. Nice macabre, you've got like the, the kind of like, almost like baby blue washes. You know, they do some moments where it has this almost kind of like apocalyptic steampunk sort of feel to it. Just visually stunning. Some of the songs are pretty good, but like all operas, like musicals, they have parts where you're like, mm, I'm just not digging this song. Not digging the song at all. And Bill Mosley, great actor. Singing is not quite his forte. He kind of falls in the scenario of uh, like Russell Crowe in Les Mis. You know, good job, but you just, your voice just sounds just out of place. So of course you have a guy who's the Repo Man going out collecting the organs. A lot of other little like small storylines going on. Everything kind of builds to a nice, a nice finale to it. You know, Spike, excellent job. Since you're being kind of a grave robber. Very, very well done. I will say, Bill Mosley was not a big fan of his singing, and, man, Paris Hilton, even though she was playing the, like, rich, kind of slutty daughter, heiress sort of character, which is her, so she probably shouldn't have gotten paid for it, because that's who she is in real life. Beyond Paris and Bill Mosley, which are the two, probably the two weakest singers, at least Bill brings something nice when it comes to the, uh, the actual acting portion of it. Everyone else beyond that does a very, very good job for not being classically trained singers.